We're headed to Florida on the Alphabet of Heat. A is for Antep and Z is for Zing. Got 24 more that'll grow in between. They say the spice of life is variety. That's why we're growing so hard on the Alphabet of Heat. Phosphorus. The letter D. What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the Alphabet of Heat. My name is Boss. I'm a gardener and a lover of all things spicy. Today is letter D for Daytil. I had somebody else tell me that most people pronounce it Daytil, I guess, but there's a T in it, so I'm going to say Daytil. I don't know. If I'm wrong, buy me a trip to Florida and I'll come talk to you about it. The reason I keep talking about Florida is because the Daytil is famous in Florida. It is grown in a lot of places in America and South America and Central America technically, but Florida is where it's become famous. So they grow a ton of Daytil peppers there. Um, I couldn't help but notice when it was growing on the plant that this bright orange and the green of the plant kind of look like Florida colors. I'm excited for this though. I haven't ever grown these before. Fun fact, it is 2022. These seeds are from 2016. They grew fine. They germinated, no problem. This goes to show, if you take care of your seeds, they will last a really long time. Let's take a quick look at the plant outside. So, like all, they started indoors in February and grew fairly well in these little pots, faster than I wanted, so I took it outside to transplant as soon as I could. It was looking pretty healthy here, but it was root-bound and struggled. Did not change much from this point um, until it started putting on fruits. So, Only had a few fruits on this plant, but those that did turned out okay. They had this really nice color that starts to turn this kind of, uh, I don't know, Florida orange, orange and green. Uh, and there you can see it's about ready to pick, very bright orange, nice looking pepper. All right, so you can see, pretty cool plant. It wasn't super productive for me. And it's time for pepper facts. So the daddle is a capsicum chinense. It is originally from either Chile or Spain. It's kind of up for debate, but St. Augustine, Florida is really its home. The plants grow to be about three to four feet tall when they're given space, and they put on usually a lot of these three and a half inch, four inch bright orange peppers. They're about 200 to 300,000 Scoville heat units, and daddle is apparently how you're supposed to say it. I don't know. Let's cut it open and see what it looks like. All right, I've got all this fancy equipment, but here I am. I'm going to one hand cut because I'm lazy camming it again. Ooh. That is fairly well filled with membrane. Pretty cool looking. Smells great. So, like I said, I've never had this pepper. It smells really good. It smells pretty sweet. It doesn't have a really hot stinging scent. There is an awful lot of membrane in there, so I expect it to be pretty spicy. I think they are supposed to be quite hot. And I'm not sure if it's habanero level heat or what. Um, I'll probably try and go back in and add that information instead of not having it here. I got a lot of editing to do. It really does though, it smells very sweet, um, very pleasant. I am going to slide the seeds out of this half here so that I can save them and maybe share them. And I should probably update my own seed stock so that it's not all six years old. The Daytil, let's see how it tastes. Oops, got it on my lips. Man, that's good. Very tangy sweet up front. Like maybe tangy is not the right word, dare I say citrusy, a very pronounced flavor. That would be delicious in a salsa, especially if you pickled it a little bit, just do a quick pickle. I think that would really bring out some of those flavors with a little bit of vinegar, but holy smokes, that's good. I did not know what to expect there. It, it smells really sweet. It tastes sweet, but it's almost a little bit tangy, sour, like I'm, I'm having a hard time putting a word on that one. Um, it definitely has some heat. I wouldn't call it habanero level, at least in this case, but it's up there. It's probably 60 to 100,000, somewhere in that range. Kind of like a hot cayenne, like a really hot cayenne. Um, it actually reminds me a lot of the heat profile of the Bulgarian carrot we talked about a couple episodes ago. It's not overpowering, but it's pungent. It wouldn't be for a beginner or somebody who likes mild things. Sharp burn. It didn't spread too much. It really, it burned right on my tongue where I bit it and right on my lip where it touched, but Outside of that, it didn't move around my mouth, so that's an interesting thing. The flavor, though, the best I can describe is, is it's tangy. Really unique to me. I'm a big fan here. I'm going to make sure I'm not about to eat some of my precious seeds, but... Daytil. Florida. 
two thumbs up. I'm definitely going to grow that again. I might actually start some like right now for my winter grow. Because if I could get a bunch of those, I'm telling you, that would make some of the best salsa I've ever had. It would also make a really pretty sauce if it was just daytails with that bright orange color. Might have to start a couple plants. Letter D of the Alphabet of Heat. I gotta say, I'm a fan. It brings some burn, but nothing overwhelming. Incredibly good flavor. Just very fresh, tasty, and unlike any pepper that I've had that I can recall anyhow. Very excited to see what next week is like as we move on to letter E. I will be back then. There's all kinds of other stuff happening on this channel too, so please hit subscribe if you haven't already. See you real soon.